Okay, back with uh, turn two. This will be the uh, 2.40 p.m. Playing uh, Grand Havoc, Battle of Perryville, October 18, October 8, 1862. Using uh, a blind sword system from Revolutionary Revolution Games. Um, joining this quite a bit here. Uh, we're up to turn two. Uh, as I said before, with turn one, I kind of went through it because I had a few questions, but now I've got those worked out. With turn two, I'm going to actually do some play and uh, let you follow along with this. Uh, so we'll get through most of it. We'll see how long it goes here. Um, try to keep these videos fairly shorter, but we'll see how it's how it's going there. So let's get to it. Um, so I've, I've loaded up the cup uh, there as well. So that's all set. So we're actually on to the artillery phase. Um, we're going to start off with the Union. Now, um, one thing you may note here, I've got some green and red chits out here um, to signify what artillery is active, just for my own sanity, because there's a lot of units here in front of us, um, and there's a lot of uh, you know artillery here as well that uh, you know we'll need to uh, need to keep track of. So starting with the Union, I'm going to start over here with uh, Starkweather's artillery. These guys up here, Bush and um, Stone, they're actually going to take a shot over here at Manny's units, uh, the 27th Tennessee, that just looking to go after Terrell's here. We're going to see if we can hit them and, and slow them down so that we can get Terrell... Um, but I think that's Parsons up there, his battery back here um, into a little better position over here. So we're starting with this. That'll be the both units there are five, so that's going to be ten, starting on the ten column. And then we're um, looking for shifts. Now they're on a higher elevation, I believe. They're on a six, and this is a four, so they're shooting down onto them there. Okay. So I don't think any apply. I think it's just going to be a straight, um, straight roll on the um, the ten column, and we'll see what we get. Roll a two six. That's not going to do very much. Um, one to three. Manny supported. He's a four, so that's actually a miss. So, and that's where these artillery fire markers really come into play. They're really nice. So, I think next we're going to start with Confederates with uh, Manny's artillery over here, which is uh, Smith's taking a shot at the artillery over there. Try to try to uh, do something to them here. So, he starts on a three. He is a smooth bore, so he's Napoleon's. And he's in range, so that's okay. And he also will get no modifiers. Um, so it'll just be on the straight, straight roll with a three, I think. Wait a minute, let me just look here. Uh, Terrell, yeah, he's a five. He's on the uphill, and he's across. So, oh, actually, he'll get the effect of the fence here. So we'll go down to two. So we're at the same height uh, on there. So we're on the two column, 44. That's a zero to two. Uh, he's supported, so he is a four. Uh, so he's okay. So both those shots missed. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go next with the Union? I think we'll go right with Parsons. And he's going to fall back. Yep. So they can move down. So that's going to be one to move to there. And then they'll move two. They've got a movement of six. Two to there. Now they can cross here. It's one, two. And then three, four in with Starkweather. Now I can't stay there. Um, so I'll go up here for five. And that'll do it. We're doing much here at the moment. Um, I think we're going to get Woods unit up here to take a shot at Harris. 
He's, again, Napoleon's one, two, three, four, five, five away. He's at a level five. He's at a level four. So it's firing down, but it is going to be over woods. Now, this is this is one area I do still have an outstanding question. You see how this, I don't know if you can see there, but let me zoom in here. There is a stone wall right here. It looks at the lower level on the two going up to the three level. So it looks like it's below all those levels. So I'm I'm not counting that as as uh, being blocking because if it's firing down or um, you know over that, I don't think that stone wall should count because there's a lot of stone walls here. Which I, I being there. I know a lot of the stone walls are gone, but still, um, having stone walls block ranged artillery, not canister, but you know, shot and shell type of artillery, um, it you know, just doesn't make sense to me. Um, canister, yes, or if it's at the same flat level, you know, the same levels, then that makes sense. But they're firing down, and I'm, I'm not counting it. I may be wrong. Uh, like I said, still got an outstanding question in on that, but. That's how I'm playing it. So, anyways, uh, Wood, he is a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, range 5. He's in range, so there's no adjustments there. Is firing over Woods, so it's down 1. So it'll be a 6 going down to a 5. Also 32, and that's going to be 0 to 2, and that's a miss as well. Okay, a lot of... A lot of artillery. Okay, next, going back to the Union side. Um, I think we'll take Loomis here. And they'll have to shoot over those guys, but that's okay. Going at 30th Mississippi over here. One, two, three, four. They're rifled. Definitely within range. So there are going to be six. The down one for going over units. So it's going to be on the five column. 33. I believe that's going to be a miss. Just verifying. Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, well, then 33. No, that's a zero to two. It is a routine. Now he's only a one. So it's going to be on a routine check here. Let's see what we get. Gets a two for the depletion, which is nothing. Six morale hit and retreat two. So we'll get our morale marker on here, and he's got to retreat two. So he's going to be shaken and go one, two, back to there. Pull that back so we can see he's shaken. All right, first effective shot for this turn. All right, moving on to the Union, uh, the Confederates. I think we'll take uh, Darden there. One, two, three, four. Should be able to see it. He's on level five. That's a level two. Yep. So he's a three. Uh, he's Napoleon's. And firing downhill. So he's just a straight three. Ooh, six five. That's a good one. Six five. So that's on the 42nd Indiana. He's a three. He is supported. So he stays a three on the three column. So it's a routine for him. He gets a five one. So he's depleted. He's reduced, but no morale effects. All right, artillery is starting to do some damage for both sides. Uh, let's see, we got two more Union over here. Let's uh, zoom this back out so you can see. There we go. Two more Union over here. We've got Weber, a uh, Webster, and. Um, Gay. Uh, I think I think we're gonna move Gay out. He's gonna go. Oops, I don't need that on there. 
one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. And stop there. Yeah, you have to stop there. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to actually reposition um, the cavalry over here for the first corps up and block here because I noticed up to the north there, uh, just out of your view. I'll try to get that back into your view here a second. We have Wharton. See, he's way up there. He can make a nice little beeline across here. This is all dry creek bed and capture that. So we've got to block that somehow. And so I think Gay is going to try to get up there and block it eventually. So I'll move his artillery there first. So now back to Confederates shooting with their artillery. I think we'll take um, Key here, Claiborne's. Now he could go, yeah, he'll go after these guys right here. One, two, three, four. So he's a three. He's definitely within range. He is going to be going over woods um, right here. There's nothing in there. This stone wall will not count because he's firing downhill. So it's down one for woods. Um, he is going right. He's not going. Yeah, he's not really going over. Oh, well, wait a minute. He's got to take the door. So he is going over somebody. So it's going to go down one for firing over units as well. So we're going to get a 3, minus 2 is a 1, on a 1 column against the 3rd Ohio. Oh, 66. That's a hit. That's a routine check. He's a 4, and he's supported, but it's still a routine. Oh, 6-5. He's depleted and retreats too. Ouch. Wow, that was good shooting. So he's depleted and he's got to retreat two hexes. So, let's see. He can't go there. He can do a one, two like that. Yeah, I think that's, that's what he's going to do. Okay, good shooting by... Key. All right, last one for the Union up here is Webster. Excuse my arm, there's Harris right here. I think for now he's just going to go one, two, three to there. There should be one, two, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I think I just want him positioned kind of over there out of the way for the moment. Okay, back over the Confederates. So we've just got four more. There's there's three that you can see, and there's one off camera, which probably will not do much. Over here, I think we've got movement more than anything. This guy is Donaldson. We're going to bring him down one, uh, one half, one. Um, one half, one. One half, two. And have him land with... He says he's an S, though. Hmm. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four. I think he'll come up with brown instead. He's got to be a little bit closer. There we go. Or Palmer, right there. Okay. Um, Union doesn't have any more, <clears throat> so we'll move, just continue on with Confederates. We've got Stuart Sanford, Stanford up here. Um, yeah, he's rifled. I need to get him into the action a little more down here. So he's going to come down the hill. One. Um, actually, I'll go over here. One, two, three, and there, three and a half. And then we've got Liddell, who's kind of stuck over here. Well, he could move, he could kind of move cross country. Or no, he could go one half, uh, one half, 
one, because that's overstacked. Two, uh, two and a half, three and a half, four, five, and five and a half in with them. Yeah, let's get him into the fight as well. So these guys can shoot in there as well. Okay, so there we go. That's all the artillery. So, first chip pull is Buckner. Okay. So Buckner has choice of activations, but let's see if they can do it. Roll a one, so they do get a choice with Claiborne. Okay, so he's going to go into the attack mode. Go right up before Squire Bottoms' uh, estate here. You know, supporting him there. All right. So I, I should have gone with a firing first. Obviously, no firing. Uh, They're not in a range. So we go right to the combat, which is going to be this here. So they're going to be attacking here. He's going to first defensive fire against them. Logical choice, I suppose. Um, so he's going to be a 5. He is an S, so should have a range of 1, which should be okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, <laughs> does have the stone wall, so this is going to affect a minus one. Um, so going down to four. Uh, and that's it. So four. And he's a five. Yeah. Well, let me think about this here a second. It's down to a four. Well, I can do it. He is supported no matter what. Yeah, I gotta try to knock him out to four. And uh, that's not gonna do it, alright? Not gonna do it. So, their attack, he's gonna be in the 11. Start on the 11. And 16 to 5 is a 3 to 1. So it goes up 3. Higher cohesion, most definitely. Up 4. Um. S's. These are R's. They are S's. So he swings a back one, so it goes back down to three. Um, he's on the same level, but he is not. He's not over here, so... Uh, oh, that's okay. It's slope. That's right. It's slope. Um, cavalry, Chapin River, fence. They are behind a fence there, so that will reduce it by one. Goes down to two. No rebel yell, no flank, no spontaneous charge, no artillery. All right, so it's just going to be plus two. So it's going to be 11 plus two. So puts it on the 14 column. This is still going to hurt for me. One, six on the 14. 14, one, six on the 14. Zero to two. Ooh, just barely gets a routine. Wow. Okay. Thought it would be a little bit more overwhelming. So it's a routine. Rolls a three, which is nothing on the depletion. Four. Retreat two. And there's a panic. Possible panic. Let's just look here. No, there. So he's got to retreat two. He will go one to end with Loomis like so um, he's the only one that's a oh, these two are the only one that are affected by the panic but he's a three so he's okay all right so that'll be that so uh, 13 15 AR is going to actually move up in there this guy now has to retreat because he's in skirmish order. So I'll go back to there. Uh, yeah, he can't move up because that's that's there. All right, so they've captured Squire Bottoms. Um, house. And they're pushing on against Lyle. So our next one is going to be 
Fortunes of War. Okay, that'll be the next chick coming out. It's not going to apply. And this is going to be a Jackson, Union Jackson. So he's got to figure out which one. Uh, Terrell and Webster. So Jackson is Webster and Terrell. I think Web. Hate to do it. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta keep Webster back. That's okay. He's he's all ones anyway, so it's okay. So Webster is going to activate, and he will be done. Okay. Fortunes of War. Webster is just stuck there, but he he's kind of in reserve anyways, so... Uh, oh, Fog of War. Okay, we've got a Fog of War roll to go. Let's see what happens. We get a 5. And a 5 is Possible General Casualty. Alright. So, we've got a Possible General that's hit. Let's see who it's going to be. 56. Cheatham. Okay, Cheatham is hit. So when he comes out, we're going to be using the Cheatham Hex, or not Cheatham Hex, the Cheatham uh, replacement when he comes out of the bucket. All right. Now he's in command of uh, Donaldson, Manny, Smith, and Stewart. Basically, these guys up here. So he's been hit by some sort of issue, or his command has. Next one up is Anderson. There. So Anderson is the last division, which is Adams, Brown, Jones, and Powell. So that's uh, here. Um, yeah, Adams, which is just off map, uh, off camera. Uh, Brown and Jones up here. Okay, so let's see. He's got a four. Let's see if anybody activates first. He does get him to activate. Okay, that's good. So we are gonna get. I think we could get Jones moving again up here to try to push a little bit here. Um, although they don't have great cohesion, but. Uh, I need to get them to tie up um, tie up units. Well, Johnson Johnson would be good to help. Well, he'll have to help Shelburne, uh, Claiborne over here. Uh, I think I want to take him as a defend because they'll still be able to shoot. With this one, and then others can recover or you know get the shaken marker off of there, and he can move up. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do defend with him. So first off, the shooting, 22nd Mississippi firing at the Indiana, 38th Indiana. So they are an RS, which I believe is rifled and smoothbore. So with a range of two, they're gonna be 50%. So they're gonna immediately knocked down to three um, with their shot. All right. So they're going to be on the three column. Uh, not over anything. There's no... Yep. Okay. Yep. It's going to stay on the three column. So they need some high numbers here. Two, four is not going to do it. So they missed. So then we're going to get movement of Jones up here. And I think he's gonna. He's got two points. Well, minimum. He can do minimum movement. So he'll go up into here, which would be one, two, uh, blah, 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 three, four. But they should be able to do minimum movement. And go up here. He'll have to retreat, so he's going to actually come back this way. 
like that. And then this Jones will just remove the shaken marker and stay put. Okay. There we go. Jones is in position. Okay. I think I get this all right from memory. Again, this is uh, going from memory. So if I miss something, you know, please feel free to call me out. I don't mind at all. I'm, I'm playing more for the fun of the command rather than the mechanics. So if I do something wrong, it's... Uh, it's uh, completely my fault, or my fog of war, as I call it. All right, next one, command confusion for the Union. Uh, so they'll hold that out. They could have used that sooner uh, on here, but that's okay. So next one out is Gay. That's the art, that's the um, Union cavalry over here to the uh, to the west. So let's see what they're going to do. So they need a three to do any type of activation. They do get it. So they're going to activate to maneuver. Maneuver. And they're cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. They can move up to nine. Okay. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, three, three and a half, um, four, five. Six, six, uh, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine. And they'll follow the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, here, four, five, six. Seven, eight, up oh, one more, nine, up to there. We'll strung out, but they'll hold the uh, they'll hold the line up there. We'll get them sorted next turn uh, in case Wharton comes down there. So I don't see them needed over here at the moment. Um, even though Webster uh, didn't activate, I just don't see any real thrust this way. I see a thrust over here, but that will come dangerously close to activating uh, or getting more activation of the units and. Uh, you know, I think McCook will be the first one to activate, try to stem any attack over there. So, that's all for Union Cavalry, so they're done. Next one out, Rousseau. So Rousseau has the First Corps, and his division consists of Harris, Slytel, and uh, Starkweather. So these guys here. So he needs a 5 activate. Rolls a 4. Got it. So, who's he going to activate? He's got some dangerous stuff going down here. He's got some stabilization to do up there. We're going to go with a light hell. So now the question is, is it going to be attack? Yeah, I think they've got to go with attack. Yep, they've got to go with attack. Let's do that. So, uh, first off, some shooting. Here we go. 15th Kentucky against the Arkansas units. So that's going to be 10. They're rifled. So, um, that's going to be a range of 2, which is going to be 50%. Yeah. So they're going to be 5. They are firing across the stone wall. So they're going to get 4. And they're supported, so we need to roll high. Now that's not going to do it. And then these guys are going to be blocked by these guys, so they can't fire. They could fire down here, but they're S, so they're, yeah, they don't have the range. Okay, so that's all for the firing. Now for the moving. Uh, a little bit of repositioning here. I think we want to shift 42nd Indiana back there. Bring 3rd Ohio back here. Take off the skirmish for two points. And then they'll advance for... Um, two more. Two more. 
Yeah, and then we've got to bring up the 15th Kentucky. Like that. So they'll be supported. There's plenty of mutual support there. Okay, good. So these two will be going after them. Uh, I think defensive fire will go against 15th Kentucky, which will be 11. Um, but they're firing behind this, or firing at a stone wall. Drop down to the 8 to 9. Um, that'll do it. But they're only a 3. Oh, they roll low. 1 4. That is a miss. Okay, here we go. So these two are going to be 20. Uh, well, this guy will start. It'd be 10 against uh, them. So it'll be on the 10 column. These two combining gives a 3 to 2 is a plus 1. Uh, the cohesion is the same, so there's no modifiers there. 50% um, or higher is S. They are, so they're 50. They're exactly 50%. So uh, that gets them one. So it's a two shift. Nothing for slopes, river, cavalry. Uh, they are behind a. Um, right here they are behind a wall, so that's down one. So it's just a one shift. Yeah, so it's one shift. So it goes up to 12 to 13. Okay, let's see what we got. 35, 35 on the 12 to 13. So that's going to be a routine. Um, the Arkansas units. Two six. So there's no depletion, but it's a morale hit and retreat. Uh, all units retreat to hexes. Okay, so they've been bumped back. Take a morale hit, and they've got to go back one, two. It's going to come up and occupy that. The Tenth Ohio will occupy it there. All right, we've got some good action going on there uh, around uh, Squire Bottoms location between Lytell and Claiborne. Oh, next one up, Anderson again. Okay, we've already activated one of Anderson's units. That was uh, Jones, yeah, Jones. We got Brown and Adams. Oh, we don't. They fail. So I think that's going to be Adams. He's off map here, and has really nothing to shoot at. So I'm not even going to show you. He's he's one. Oh, I'll just give you a quick peek. One down here, uh, right here. You can see there's nothing really around him, so we're just going to... Okay, so that's second one for Anderson. He's still got Brown, so he's still not done yet. we still got Cheatham who hasn't come out yet. And only one of uh, one of Buckner's. Let's see who's next. Ooh, we got a Rebel Yell. Ooh, Rebel Yell. Interesting. Let's take a look and see if we want to play that or not. So I think we're going to hold on to it. I think we're going to hold on to it for the moment. Okay. Next one is the McCook Chit. Now that has various uh, uses here. Uh, McCook is the CIC for the first core. And he can either be used to activate a brigade or... Um, Activated Brigade to uh, attack Buell Track, which I think I want to do, and get him, hopefully, to start caring about this other side of the field. Okay, next one. Uh, next one is Hidden Enemy. So this can be played now or at any time. And this is basically an ambush. So we can use this to move a Union unit up and uh, he can open fire on a unit 
and uh, either close combat him or um, or fire at him. I'm just sorry, I'm just looking over the map here on this, and I'm thinking a good use for that right now. So, all right, let's let's get one more shit out here, and then. Uh, I think that'll bring us right about to the halfway mark. Next one is a uh, Confederate Sharpshooter. I think we'll go with the 27th Mississippi against them. So that's going to be three. Um, I'll get the flank modifier, which is a which is a um, sh one shift to the uh, to the. Um, To the, yeah, to the right, sorry. <laughs> um, right. So a three going to a four. Let's see if we can do anything. 52, that's uh, pretty good. Three, four, one to four. It's routine. Okay. They have shaken up the Indianians. Let's see. Five, one. It did. Oh boy, they got a depletion on them. So that was fruitful uh, for them. Okay, very good. We got Jackson. So he has uh, Terrell and Webster. Webster activated before and uh, actually didn't do anything. He wasn't able to activate. Let's see if we can get him this time. Jackson needs a four or less. Oh, doesn't get it. So Terrell just has to do a firing event but there's really yeah he's really blocked from firing at any units so ooh this this is going to get interesting right up here for um tip you up here a little bit there you go uh it's going to get interesting for the 105th ohio up here as they can't get out of there um it's a tough situation for them all right we'll move Jackson off, so he's out of the bucket completely. We also have had Cheatham that has uh, been wounded or incapacitated somehow. When he comes out, we'll uh, take care of him. All right, we got the Confederate Cavalry Wharton. Now he needs a three to activate. Gets a two, so he does. Now I think, yeah, I think he's got to come down and make a threat over here against the <coughs> excuse me, Union Cavalry. So he's going to um, move here. He's going to go up here for uh, see, Cavalry going uphill. Cavalry going uphill. Our upslope is going to be a plus three. Ooh. Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he'll follow right there as well. And they'll do the same thing. Oop. Just wiped them out again. So they'll go uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Okay. So there's Wharton done. Um, so both the cavalries, independent cavalries. Completed. Next one. What do we have here? We have Rousseau again. All right, so that's going to be Rousseau's already activated. One. Littell already activated. We have Harris and Starkweather. And, ooh, we get a six. Hmm. Interesting. All we could do is really shoot. So I think Harris is going to take it, and they're going to shoot. So we've got the 2nd Ohio here firing at the 34th Mississippi. So they'll be a 9, but they will be they're 2 away, so they're going to be 50% uh, strength, which is going to drop them down to 4. Uh, there's no stone walls or anything, so that's it. So it'll be on the 4 column. Two and two, that's a miss. Okay, now we'll take the 38th Indiana going back against the 27th Mississippi. 
There are five. There are S, which is going to be uh, rifled and smooth board, so they're going to be 50%. So it could be down to two. Uh, Jones is just sitting in the dry creek bed, which is nothing. So uh, it's on the two column. One five. That's going to be a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. All right. So that's all for Harris. Uh, flip him over. Good. And now we've got Starkweather. Starkweather is the only one left there with him. Um, next we got Confederate Command Confusion. All right, they'll hold on to that one. Union still hasn't had an opportunity. I mean, I suppose we could have done Wharton, but um, you know, I think that's probably going to be placed on Manny when it happens. Oh, we've got a rally chat for the Union. That's good. And I think I just want to just double check this because I think we have to use it right away. And the answer is yes. Got to use it right away. So, there's no shaken and disruptive markers, but we do have some units that need to attempt to recover. Uh, must be two hexes away. Yep. So, um, yeah, I think I want, the, well, no, because he's stacked. Yeah. He's stacked. I think we've got to do this guy. 42nd Indiana. So, he'll attempt to rally. His CR is actually increased to four, so we need a four or less to recover. <laughs> Five. Doesn't do it. Okay. That was easy. Next. Uh, firing on friends. This is another hold one. That uh, if the Confederates fire, uh, they can play this and uh, reduce the uh, reduce the attack okay next Anderson what happened yeah Cheatham Cheatham is in there just not coming out so Anderson uh, his last one is brown these guys right here he needs a four less to activate them five doesn't get it so they're done. I don't think there's anything for them to shoot at. They're kind of just stuck there. It's not good. It's not good for the attack. But we still got Buckner and um, Cheatham to get moving here. Now we got Buckner again. Buckner. We've already activated one. Claiborne uh, was activated. Johnson, Liddell, and Wood. So let's see. Get we got five. He needs a three. So I think it's going to be Liddell over here because they're way in the back. Um, just won't do anything. We'll just sit there. Buckner back in. Uh, next we get Buckner again. Okay. So Johnson or Wood. Let's see. One. So we do get somebody going here. So Johnson or Wood. I think we're going to get Johnson get up here and uh, get some pressure on Delightel and Harris. So they'll activate to attack. Um, so he's one, two, three. He's rifled at five. I'd be quartered, so he'd be down to one. Firing over woods. Brings him down to a C. B3. It's a tough shot, but they could potentially make it. Well, we'll take it. It's on the C column. Um, needs a very high roll. Yeah, no, that's a miss. Okay. Um, these guys would do one, two, three as well, but it, that's an impossible roll, so we're not going to do it. All right, so now let's move them up here. So these guys will come up to attack. I think we can get them going. Eight, 12. It's going to be a tough one, but let's see what we can do. Um...
these guys will move one to there, two to there. Now, they're going to be engaged, but I may not have them attack quite yet. I yeah, they're just going to become engaged. They don't necessarily have to attack this junction, because I think that's a little tough. I think we're going to just put pressure on them by moving up. And we've got these two. Um, two. I think they're just going to move up behind like so. I think that's right. So the only attack we're going to do is this one against here. So they're going to be firing 10. That's a damaging amount, but he's a 5 on top, so he's a good chance he'll hold. So 10. Uh, within range, no modifiers. This is a straight 10. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 1 to 4. He's a 5, so it's a miss. It's a miss. Okay, here they come, boys. Here they come. So it's 12 against 10. So it's going to be, or the 8 3 is going to be the lead unit. So it starts on the 8. He's going to be reduced for the CR because uh, they have a le lesser CR. No, it is the attacking lead unit. Okay, never mind. It is lead unit, so it is minus. So who's ever yelling at the screen saying, you're right, you're right, you're right. You are right. So it's going to be 8 minus 2, so it's on the 5 column. So here we go. 55. That's actually good. That's going to be a routine on the Union 10th Ohio. That's a five and a four. So he is depleted. All right. Depleted and a four. Retreat two and a possible panic. Now the only unit panic is this guy. He's not a two, so he'll be okay. So he's got to retreat two. He's got to go one to there. Or actually, he could go one, two over to there. That's probably better. And then these guys can advance in there. So Johnson comes up and recaptures it. Crazy battle so far. Crazy battle. So that's Johnson's attack. But this is very good. This is why Blind Sword System is so interesting to play. This uh, and you know others that have been playing with you've seen me play with the uh, Great Battles series. Uh, wonderful games. Wonderful games. Got to put some time into them, of course, but they're a good aggressive leader for the Confederates, and I believe I have to... I believe I can save that or play that. Um, aggressive leader. Yes. Uh, play now. No, i got to play it now. So, let's see if I get an aggressive leader. Four or less. Do. Do. So this allows one brigade to attack. All right, interesting. How do I want to do this? Starkweather hasn't done anything yet. I'd like to do Manny up to the top here, up, way up here. Uh, let me just zoom you in so you can see. See what Manny looks like over here. Um, up top there. I, I know it's not a great zoom, but this is the way I'm shooting at the angle there. But Manny's units are these guys up here. There's some really good units. Fours, mostly fours, a three and a five. Um, I'd like to get them having two activations. And I know with Cheatham it's going to be tough because he's wounded. He hasn't come out yet. Because um, I think this has been played pretty much. Although... Another attack down here could be could be useful um, to consolidate, but I'd really like to push for Starkweather's Hill up here because that's another one of the turn hexes. So I think, well, let's do this. So they're in attack mode. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to go one, two, three. Uh, 
Um, So we will have an attack over here. 18 against 13. Uh, six and a half, 18 and a half. No, it's not going to be three to two, but they do have good cohesion differential. So yeah, we'll still do the attack. So defensive fire against, uh, yeah, okay. So defensive fire. Ooh. I think they're going to go against them. They're lower. So it's 13. They're rifled. So it's on the 13 column. Um, there's nothing in there. So it's just a straight 13. So this is going to be a big blast out of them. 13 column. There are three. They are supported. 52. That's uh, going to be some sort of hit. 13. Yeah, that's a tough result. A tough result. See what happens. Here. 43. So they are depleted. Let me flip over. Oh yeah. Uh, and a three is retreat to panic one unit. Okay. I gotta retreat to one. Two. I think, yeah. Okay, but the attack is still on over here with these guys, so he becomes the lead unit. So it's going to start on the 8. Um, it's going to be a negative modifier for outnumbering, so it's going to be a one shift down, so they'll go to 7. Um... It's rifle against rifle, but they do have the CR, so that's going to actually give them one, so that actually nullifies that. Um, defender is not higher. No, of course, right, 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 oh, no. Okay, so it's going to be right on the eight column, so that's not too bad with a one, so I might break them. Oh, one, two, no. It's a close fight. Ah! Wow. Close fight. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. 6-3. So they are reduced. Depleted. Union is depleted. That's easy one. 6 and then 3. A, M, H. Attacker gets a morale hit. Alright, well, that's not too bad. So I get a morale hit. So they're... Cohesion is down one. Put that slightly off center so you can see it. Terrell took took some damage over there as well. Okay. So that's our aggressive leader chit. Still got three more chits to go, which is mostly gonna be Cheatham. Jeez, Buckner again. Okay. This is the last one for Buckner, so he, he's gonna be right out here. So it's going to be for Buckner, this is the activation for Wood. He's got right here. A four. Let me actually zoom you out. There you go. This guy right here. So he fails. He's not going to move. He sits right there. Okay. So now what they say. Now what they say. Anything? I don't think so. But yeah, that doesn't look. Not much looks tempting from both the Union and Confederate side. Alright, let's, let's pull another chit. 
Rousseau. Okay, so we're going to get Starkweather. Rolls a two. So Starkweather activates. It's a full activation. Now Starkweather is arrayed right over here. So let's zoom in again. This is this is the other area that's um, that's going to be interesting to watch because Starkweather right here, right here, is arrayed to block them right here. And Manny has moved 27th and 1st Tennessee in for the attack. Now the artillery is still fired, or has fired, so uh, it's going to be an attack. So it's going to be an attack with Starkweather. I'd like to blunt him right there. Got the units to do it. Firing-wise, there's really nothing to fire at, so... Still going to do an attack, but it may just... Yeah, I think... I, I think they've got to attack nothing, so... They're just going to sit there. Luck of the draw here. Let's, uh... That's wood, Starkweather. Wood was done, Starkweather's done. Next and last, finally coming out of the bucket, is Cheatham, who has been wounded, so he's going to come over here, and the replacement's going to come out. Needs a three to activate somebody. Three or less. Rolls a two. That's good. All right, so we've got three units, Donaldson, Manny. Yeah, I think Manny's got to attack, which is going to trigger a command confusion from... The, uh, the Union side. I gotta do it that way. I can't see any other choice. So, Command Confusion. The, the order was attack. So let's see what the roll is. Five. Brigade must uh, be assigned a different order than originally announced, determined by the CSA player. Okay. So, it can't be. It's either can be a maneuver, defend, rally. Um, we'll go with defend. That's going to be the simplest one. Uh, because with that, we can do some shooting here, which I think is going to be important. Um, and a little bit of movement. So first off, firing. 27th, we'll shoot up at the artillery. So there are four rifles so they have down to two. Uh, there's nothing in their way, so it's going to be... On the two column. So there are four in there, support. 43 on the two column. 43 on the two column is a miss here. So they're going to, I'll allow it to shoot them over there. It's a, some of these stone wall hexes, the line of sight on them are a little tight, but it's okay. So there'll be a four. Um, yeah, and no modifiers. So on the four column. Yeah, that's a miss. And then we've got this unit up here, the 9th Tennessee. They're a 7. Um, yeah, 7 firing on the 105th Ohio. Yeah, so on the 7 column. 1. Oh, they missed. They missed. Can't believe it. They missed. Urgh. All right, so now some movement here. Uh, they're going to move into here. They're going to go one, two to there. Um, they're going to back off a little bit like that. That'll do it. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to let Cheatham finish his, finish his units. So we've got two of them. we got Stuart and Donaldson. We'll do the first one. Okay, it doesn't get it, so it's either going to be Stewart or Donaldson that doesn't move. I think we'll take Stewart, which will do the limited. And then we'll do the next one. He needs a three again. Doesn't get it, so Donaldson doesn't move either. All right, so that takes care of. Takes care of all the chits. That's all the chits out of the cup. Now it's just the held stuff. So we've got Hidden Enemy Unit, which I, I'm i not going to play. I don't think I have to play it. That's another That's another thing here is if it's... 
Uh, remove chip and play after resolve. Play now or at the start of the chip draw phase this turn. Now, if I don't use it, can I put it back in the in the mix? Or do I have to play it at the end of the turn? It's a good question. I'm going to have to check on that. I'm going to play it that I can put it back in because I have nothing really exciting to use it with. I mean, there's some things I can, I, yeah, I can obviously use it, but I think it. There's nothing that really um, makes sense to use it. Now, the only one I really can use out of all of these is the Rebel Yell. Where are you here? There you are. Rebel Yell. And again, this is going to be up here with Manny right here. And we're going to take both these units and move them forward, and we're going after the guns. We're going after them here while we can. This may... This may wind up in tears, but uh, we got to take it. So uh, we move them forward. Uh, da, 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 da. So we have the CR increased. So the CR now is four and four, uh, five and five. All right. So now the guns can shoot at them. Ten. It's canister, so it's 50% more, so it's 15, ouch. Um, there's no stone wall or anything like that, so it's true of 15. This is gonna, this is gonna leave a mark. Ooh, a really big mark. So there are five out of 15, that's a tough, that's a tough uh, result. And we will see. 30, 32, 32. So it's a D, one unit, and then a two, which is one. All right. So uh, Confederates made this one a lead unit, obvious reasons. So he's going to take the take the hit. So we'll get a D, and then two, he's gonna retreat one, so he's gonna go back. So he got blasted. First Tennessee is still in the fight though. So they get to attack. So they're gonna be an eight. Um, they're gonna get an automatic three to three. Um, cohesion plus one's five, so they get better cohesion. So there's going to be another plus one, three, four. Um, defenders on a higher slope, though. Yes. So it's going to be down two. So it's three, four, down two is two. Um, not behind defense. Rebel yell. Puts it up to four again, and then defending artillery puts it up to eight. So they're eight plus eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all the way on the 23 column. Oh, this is going to hurt, but they are supported, so they are fours. Let's see, 44. Oh, this is a severe. This is a severe. Let's see what happens. 33 is a D and MH retreat MH2 retreat all. So the D is going to knock out uh, the top gun here. Or actually it's going to reduce it. Sorry, it's not going to knock it out. Uh, it's going to reduce it. And then two morale hits and everybody retreats. All right, two, yeah. Two morale hits, so he becomes disrupted, and now they've got to retreat. Um, one, two, they'll continue on because that would be overstacked. Actually, they can move over here. Let's do that. 
And he'll have to retreat as well. Good. All right, of course, they'll advance in there. Aha, they've captured Starkweather's Hill. Wow. Wow, that's big. That's big. Now, the Union may take advantage of this by using the hidden enemy shit. I think we'll play the hidden enemy. That's going to come out of the game completely, so I'm going to leave that over there once it's played. Okay. We're going to take Terrell and move him over here. 80th Illinois, I should say. And when he does that, because um, he's moving three X's, one, two, three. Now he can shoot at him uh, in an ambush situation. So he'll be 13. Uh, he is firing across a stone wall. So it's going to be down to the 10, 10, 11 column. Here we go. 34, 34, 34, 34 is a routine 2 to 4. Now, um, the first Tennessee is only a 3 because they're unsupported. So, here we go. It's a routine on them. We've got a 1, which is no depletion, but it's a morale hit. And a retreat 2. Wow. What a fight going on here. So they take a morale hit and must retreat back in... Yeah, he can go within me. I mean, he's hex. So they got blasted from the flank, but they do hold that hex. They were the last one in there. So... Yeah, firing on friends. I can't use them now. Should use it before. Command confusion. Uh, there's nothing to use it with. So that's it. All right, the Confederates do take both of those hexes uh, for victory points. Great. All right. So end of uh, end of turn sequence here. Let's just walk through it and we'll be done with it here. Held event shits. We just did victory points. So we've got one, two for the Confederates. So we're going to up this. So now the Confederates are at two points along with the Union. Uh, the Buell track. Uh, so we'll see if we advance the Buell track. So the um, roll one dice for Buell. Uh, six or better, it advances. Now there are some modifiers. Um, Union has suffered more total units broken and eliminated. They are. We've got one on the track. So that's going to be a plus one. Uh, McCook is on the Buell track, so that's plus two. It's not 530. Uh, on hold unit wasn't fired. No units currently engaged on the map. No, we have units engaged. Okay. So it's going to be a plus two on the dice roll. One. Okay. So it doesn't move. All right. So Buell is still oblivious. That's good for the Confederates. Bad for the Union. But uh, that's okay. Um, so now it's just adjusting counters and stuff. It's a little bit of administrative time that I need to put in over here uh, with this. But essentially, we are done with a 2.40 p.m. turn. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. I think this has been great. Some really good action here between these two videos. Um, the attack down here by Claiborne. And Johnson against the bottom uh, house, the counterattack by Lytell, the artillery barrage before that, a little bit of shooting in here with Jones and Harris's brigades, uh, Manny's attack to the north on Orchard Knob, and subsequently Starkweather Hill uh, was very exciting, uh, and they still control it, of course. Uh, but there was quite a few things that didn't go right for the Confederates, namely the rest of Cheatham's units not moving because of his incapacitation. Donaldson and Stewart are still stuck behind there, as well as um, Brown, Wood, and Liddell. So five brigades did not move for the Confederates this turn. Um, that I really needed to get into the action uh, if we need, if we want to um, get some success here. So. 
Anyways, uh, that's be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the second half of turn two. Um, we'll see. I'll see what turn three looks like here once I get it set up. Uh, may do another one like this. Uh, I think it was pretty exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, a little bit long. Like I said, it's two-parter, so it's going to be well over uh, an hour. Probably an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters uh, once it's all said and done here. So... Uh, hopefully you enjoy these both and stay tuned for turn three uh, with the video so far. Please like them. Please comment. Please uh, enjoy and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.